Hey, hey, everybody. This is Larry. This is day 20 of the July Legal Day Challenge. Oh, no free points today. Coins. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's problem. Number of matching subsequences. Hopefully today's implementation will be a little bit better than yesterday's. I uh, hope everyone's doing all right. Uh, Tuesday already. Uh, don't know what that means, but let's get uh, started. What are you? Hmm, it's not loading. Okay. Uh, anyway, given the string S and array of words, return the number of words I that is subsequence of S. Is it just, uh, I don't get it. Huh? Oh, subsequence, not a substring. Okay, that's fine. Um, I, I mean, it's still on the uh, easiest side, but I was a little bit... Uh, one thing I do misread a lot is substring and subsequences. Uh, so I was like, substring, you just do like a for loop and then in, you know, the thing is in the other. But now it's the same idea. It's just that we do a sliding window, right? Um, we can do something like we can write a helper function, go match subsequence, right, of an S of a word, and then let's put out later. But then after that, we go for word in words, if match subsequence of S, and word, then count, win, command, and then that's pretty much it, right? You have to do the match subsequence. And here, of course, you use the two pointers algorithm. Uh, here, you want you want all of word to be used and eh, as many as much of s as you need. So basically, we're going to look at each word or each character from word one at a time. So then here we have for W in word, uh, we have maybe S sub I is equal to zero, right? So while S sub, uh, yeah, S sub I is less than, mm, let's just say length of N equal to S, length, and S of uh, S I is not equal to W, we continue. Well, actually we increment by one. Um, otherwise, then that means that when this loop ends, if SI is equal to N, we return false. Uh, if SI, if S of SI is not equal to W for some reason, we return false. I don't think that's possible because of the invariant, but I am lazy. So if it's equal to W, yeah, we contain you. So we can just skip this, I suppose, or it goes to the next one. And the way you end, we return true, and I think that is good enough. So let's kind of do that loop. Yeah. Oh, uh, I messed up here, actually, um, because here, that's what I meant to do. I was like, I feel like I forgot something. Um, so now that it match, you want to increment by one so that you use up this current character. That's all. Uh, cool. Uh, looks good. Don't have to care about empty strings or anything like that. Probably not. So, yeah, I think we can also do something like maybe just like a small word with a big thingy. Just to make sure I don't have like weird of it away in next or, or something like that. All right, let's give it a quick submit. Mm, why is it so slow? Uh oh, did I have time limit exceeded? <laughs> did I not look at the constraints? I did not look at the constraints, so uh, hmm. Mm. I did, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I did not look at the constraints, so we can take a look at what oops, what the constraints are. Uh, silly mistake again, though. So, S of length. So, this is only 50 characters, right? So, why is this? It's just 50 times 5,000, right? Um, why is this so slow? Did I mess up something? Hmm. I mean, yeah, you can cache it or something, but that's just like a really, like, um, what should we call it? Like a constant time optimization, right? I know that they're using the same string. Oh, I see. Because basically, okay, I, I okay, I see what happened here. I, I misread this thing. It's time limiting out because... Uh, if it's not in the string, then yeah, I guess I was a little bit lazy this time. Usually, I'm, I'm I, I do, uh, maybe it wasn't this problem, but I do usually write this a different way. 
but I think I just didn't look at the, the constraints to be honest. So that was me being sloppy. Um, I think I saw five thousand times fifty. I think I missed this one. Anyway, um, I, I confused clearly. I confused the the constraints a little bit. So mm, I mean, mm, even so, though. Wait, isn't it fifty? Did I miss red? Oh, I I I still miss red the constraint. Each I thought there were fifty words. Okay, so that's why I was sloppy. Okay, uh, so close. But basically, okay. Now we have to do the other one. But um, it's the same idea as before. So if before our idea was two pointers, now we want to accelerate the two pointers, right? And what I mean by that is, uh, wow, I I miss I totally misread this twice even. Um, and what I mean by that is that you want to be able to skip to the next. Um, you want to be able to skip to the next uh, character immediately instead of here. You just do one character one by one. Okay, but the good thing about this abstraction is I don't have to change any of the code there. I just have to change it here. Though I should pre-process, so I am going to do that. So I am going to just put it into um, uh, what you might call it, an array of a way. So let's do that. Let's just call it lookup. Just you go to. Yeah, I usually actually do this with like um, whatever, but but yeah, um, yeah. I think mean, this will be better. Uh, this will be easier for lookup for even though. I could have just made an array of 26 characters, but uh, yeah. So basically what we want to do now is just keep track of the indexes. Oh man, I am sloppy today and this week maybe. Um, basically this is a lookup of all, the, so for every character in S, we index the, the, um, the index of the character. And of course this is going to be monotonically increasing, so you could kind of keep going that way. Um, and then here we can just do um, how do we want to do it? I mean, you can do this with either binary search or just walking the DAG. I think walking the DAG is probably a little bit better. Maybe. Hmm. Can that be bad? I'm trying to think whether you could get to a case where it is exactly the same as here, but I guess technically, definitely not this particular case, but it can, because you wouldn't, no, because then you would have like, if I was being lazy, I can do something like, um, like this times, I don't know, 5,000 or 50,000, and then like a B, and then we just do like, and then another A, and then you could do B A, and then now it would try it would skip here, but then you would linearly walk to A. It's going to be just the same, right? So okay, so we we'll just do the binary search. It's not a big deal. I was just thinking whether I I needed to do it, but yeah, uh, okay. Same idea though. So the S I we um the the idea is going to be the same, except for instead of here we go go use the lookup instead, right? Lookup of W of uh, was it bisect left of SI? So then basically we look at the first index that is to the right of SI inclusive. So this is going to be that, right? Um, and this is called index for now because I always call it index. If index is greater than or equal to lookup of W, then we return false. That means that we've reached the end of the word. So that's sad. Otherwise, this the lookup of W of index is going to contain the index that's here. So then we are to the right of it. So then by consuming it, we add it to one. So we just do this. And then I think that's good. Um, yeah. And because this only has 50 characters, we only do 50 binary search for each word. Should be okay. And of course, I am thinking of another syntax, but uh, it should be okay. It's just minor change. Huh.
Yeah, so this is way faster as you can see, mostly for this particular case, only because it gets to skip to the end. Uh, let's give it a quick submit real quick. Hopefully this is a little bit better. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, I, I, if, if, I, I misread this. I, I glanced at the constraints and then I misread this as having 50 words, each word being or some, I don't know. I don't know what I misread, but I did think that there was only 50 words. So I was like, oh, 50 words is not a problem. 5,000 is a problem. Because then it's just this times 5,000 in the worst case, which is too slow, right? Um, but yeah, so what's the, what's, the, um, what's the complexity here, right? For these things, you know, you have to be careful what n means and you have to be careful all these things. So let's define it. Um, I know that I used n here, but let's redefine it again to so that we can analyze it. Uh, the length of s, let's just call it, uh, o of s say um, the length of words is going to be o of n yeah o of w that's, that's maybe better and then the max length of word is equal to o of l right put it that way and then what, what is this complexity right so here I mean there's no going about it we're doing word by word so this is going to be o of o of w words and then oh here, this is just linear time, right? And by linear, I mean, I mean O of S. Why is that? This is linear time, linear space. Um, because each character will have one entry in lookup, which so is all one space per character. And of course, we look at each character once, so it's going to be O of one. Uh, and each character takes O of one time in general. So that's going to be O of S time over S space. But this function, what happens, right? Well, for each character in word, which is for L, um, we iterations, and then we do a binary search on S, so that's going to be log S in the worst case. So this is going to be log S. Um, so this is going to be O of L log S is the, the, the complexity of this time. Um, there's no space, we just, I mean, or, or one space because we just do a linear thing. And then now bringing this back for up, that mean, because this is the W loop, so total time will be O of W times L times log S for um, plus S for time plus S being here. And then for space, this is just O of S, I believe. Did I miss something? Maybe I left, if I left, left something, let me know. Um, but yeah, ugh, can't even get this one right on the first try. Really sloppy on the reading. I think I was just tired and fast. But um. All right, cool, cool, cool. Uh, let me know what you think. That's all I have for today. Stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. I'll see you later and take care. Bye-bye.